Hello and welcome to this iOS 7 programming tutorial. Today I'm going to cover how to use a picker, a UI view, a UI picker, which is a kind of a roulette that you can scroll through and it has different options. You may have seen it when selecting a date in some applications. So let's go ahead, open Xcode and create a single view application. We're going to name it picker example and create it. Now, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do since we're going to use a picker, we need to implement a couple things in our picker example view controller dot h. So yes, say UI picker data source. Well, let's start with a delegate and then the data source. Doesn't really matter what order you do it, but I is prefer to do it this way. Now, uh, what we are going to do is we are going to create a unit converter, but this time this is going to work with a, with a picker. So we are going to need two arrays. Strong and atomic. One for the strings that are basically the units, and another one for the conversion factors. All right, now that we have done that, we are going to go ahead and design the user interface. So go here to the object library and we are going to find the UI picker. Here we are, picker view. Put it somewhere around here. And we're going to need a text field to put the units we want to convert and a label to show the result. Uh, let's make this a bit bigger. And in the attributes inspector, let's make it centered and change the text size to text font to Helvetica. Now here we're going to put a placeholder. And we're going to name it uh, meters. That's going to, because we're going to put meters here and going to convert it to different units by using this picker. All right. Now we need to create connections to this. So we'll go to the H file here and create a label for each. We're going to name this one uh, meters text. This one result label and this one picker. Also, since we want to be able to sort of call some methods whenever the enter key is pressed in the keyboard, let's create an IB action this time for the meters for the mirror's text we can name it text field return and did end on exit that's just the event where that method will be called right now that we have done this go to the end file you can go ahead and close the assistant editor and first of all, we need to implement our arrays. So units is going to be equal to feet. Kilometers. Uh, what else? Mouse. 
and one more let's change this yards close it and now we need to implement the other rate the conversion factors this is going to be an array of ns numbers though so no need for uh, commas one feet is not one meter is 3.28 feet it's 0 0.001 1 kilometers 0 0.0000621 miles 1.9 1.093 yards there we go those are our arrays no need to do anything else in there now we are going to have to implement a couple methods for the for these files the picker delegate and data source and these are going to be number oops ns integer number of components da 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 just press tab there return one because we're only going to want one component one component this like this if we want two we would have two parallel pickers one here and one here we also need ns integer picker view Return units account number of rows. We always do arrays in this way. Uh, and a string this time. Big oh, pointer. Pick our view. And this is going to be return units row. Finally, we need to implement the method that converts the units. So, picker view in row selected float rate is going to be equal to conversion factors or row float value. We have to make sure it's a float. Float meters going to be equal to meters text text and cast it to a float value too float result is going to be equal to rate times meters no need to cast anything here since both both uh, elements are floats and and a string result String, this is going to be an NS string log in it with format this time, and we are going to have percentage 0.2f meters equal percentage 0.2f. percentage at and the variables will be meters result and units row so this will be like one meter is 0 0.001 kilometers finally we have to set result label dot text equals results string we are almost done with this I'm going to create a convert method that we will call only once but this is going to be basically the same convert so just copy paste it and 
we don't have a row variable here so just put zero this is basically going to work when you input something in the in the mirrors text field here if you haven't if you don't select any row here it's not going to do anything so this way it will select whatever's first so let's say feet and finally I, I covered this in the tutorial how to hide the keyboard so I'm just going to go ahead and get the piece of code from my library this is going to be hide keyboard and outside touch and instead of distance we're going to use mirrors text so if we touch outside of mirrors text the keyboard will disappear now before running this up the other thing we need to do is go to the main storyboard here uh, open the connections inspector select uh, the picker and drag from data source to here and same for the delegate text field and return we're going to call two things sender resign for responder so if we press enter stop I mean hide the keyboard and self convert which I misspelled alright let's try it now let's say 67 seven meters are those many feet those many kilometers it rounds those many miles and those many yards that's going to be it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching and please like comment subscribe and see you next time